Hey, what's going on, Coin Up TV subscribers? Robert Walken here. In this video, I want to do a review of Heroes 2, a 1974 Shaw Brothers classic from director Chong Che. This is part of the Shout Factory Shaw Brothers Classics Volume 2, which I have on disc right here. I'll talk about the uh, special features in a second. I'll give my letter grade review at the end of this video. If you're brand new to my channel, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe and leave a comment. Let me know what you think of some classic Shaw Brothers movies. I got some notes on my uh, screen here. First, I want to get to the IMDb synopsis. So Heroes 2, 1974. IMDb, it says, Hung escapes Shaolin after the temple is attacked by the Qing only to be jailed with the help of Fang, also from Shaolin, who mistakes him for Bandit. Fang must now help Hung escape so that he can challenge the Qing together. This is kind of the uh, early Shaolin cycle for uh, Chang Che. I believe that this wasn't shot in the Shaw Brothers studios, or maybe parts of it were. I, I, I was listening to the commentary and he was talking about uh, this being shot in Taiwan or something, something like that. So um, let me get to my notes and my impressions of the movie. This is a movie I've seen many a times over the years. It used to rerun a lot on, um, you know, the uh, when I lived in New York City, the um, <clears throat> drive-in, the uh, martial arts the drive-in theater, whatever they called it, on Channel 5. Uh, and I used to watch it over and over again, but it was, it's nice now to have it on Blu-ray and uh, with uh, with some extra features. So uh, we got the movie stars Chen Tai Quan as Hung Se Quang, who escapes the burning Shaolin Monastery or Shaolin Temple in the beginning of the film, and then is uh, quickly kind of met up after some opposition uh, by um, Alexander Fusheng, who plays Feng Shi, Feng Shi Zhu, Apologies so I'm not pronouncing these names correctly, which I believe these are considered folk heroes. Um, I'm not quite sure how much of this is truth or fiction or just folk um, legacy lore, but uh, I'm going to go with it that they were based on real real people in, in history. Um, so Alexander Fusheng is, is young. He is duped into thinking that Chen's character is bad and helps the dynasty actually capture him. There's a little small fight scene of them in the uh, woods there. And then what happens is um, uh, Hong Se Quan's, played by Chang Tai Quan, is um, put in bars in, in uh, his hands and shackles in a cave down below. And then uh, Alexander Fusheng quickly finds out that, oh no, he goofed, he screwed up, he was young, he was naive, he fell for the trap, the clever dynasty there. And um, now he's, his mission in life is to sort of save his his uh, Shaolin brother, uh, and, and he sort of commits to that. We get to actually see some decent acting from Alexander Fusheng. The second half of the movie is all about Alexander Fusheng trying to rescue Chen. Uh, first, he kind of goes in head first, tries to beat up some dudes. Uh, that doesn't work. Uh, and then he figures out, well, I'll just kind of dig a tunnel under to um, the, the where he's being kept and uh, try and free him that way. And that actually ultimately kind of helps uh, succeeds things uh, with his, his plan. Uh, again, we get a good dramatic turn from Fu Sheng. Um, some of the fighting was okay to watch. I think the end fight scene was probably the most um, marvelous or the most choreographed, the most uh, interesting to kind of watch. Uh, most of the fighting uh, throughout the movie leading up to things is... Uh, is okay. It's it's like it's there. It's isn't. It's not like amazing choreography. It's just kind of subpar choreography. Um, I felt like I was missing a lot of the um, colors and the decor and the design of uh, not being in the shell the the Shaw Brothers Studios system. The lots the Shaw Brothers Studio lot. I felt like that was missing. There's a lot of stuff going on in the woods in the middle of nowhere on the top of a cliff there, mountainside with you know green scenery in the background. I feel like we've seen that many a times. Not very cinematic, not very interesting to look at. So I like the two actors in this movie and I enjoy watching this movie, but I'm just gonna give it a letter grade of a C. It's average. It kind of starts things off. It kind of kicks things off with Chang Chain, kind of like his Shaolin cycle movies and, uh, you know, kind of continuing to some, some of these other movies uh, that I think fare a little better than this or, you know, maybe have a little better of a cast or a little more fuller. I feel like he just kind of plucked like two um, actors, good actors, and dropped them in kind of a subpar movie. And um, 
you know, it's worth checking out, but letter grade C, let's talk about the Blu-ray here from Shaft Factory. We, we get uh, some trailers, multiple trailers, uh, versions uh, from the movie. And the other feature is a new commentary from David West, who's uh, very uh, academic and scholarly and well-researched. And I appreciate a lot of his information that he, uh, he gave along the way, talking about, um, you know, the shooting and the historic or the folk folklore of things. Uh, so that was very enlightening uh, to get a lot of that, um, you know, knowledge. And, and I'm sure some of that I've regurgitated into my review here that I'm sort of spouting out to you. So let me know what you think of Heroes 2 from 1974, Chang Che, Shaw Brothers Classic. Thanks a bunch for watching for CoinOp TV. We'll see you next time.